Welcome to day 16 of Live Code Calls. Normally I give you an introduction, but let me give you a brief recap of what's about to happen. I'm about to make some phone calls in the Charlotte, North Carolina area. And if you get any value out of this, smash that thumbs up button. Appreciate if you will stay all the way to the end of this video, or at least halfway through, just to help me with my watch time. And um, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to leave them down below. I noticed that 87% of you who watch these videos are not subscribed. So, I mean, I'm not forcing you to subscribe. You subscribe if you want, but... Um, if you got any questions about cold call, you want to know how you can work with me, links in the description, or like I said, comment below. So without further ado, pick up the phone. Hello, yes. I'm looking to get in contact with the licensed plumber. Is this the correct number? Yes, sir. It is. Hey, how you doing? My name's Bernard. I found your ad on Craigslist. I had a real quick question for you. Okay. Yeah, I want to know, are you... Go ahead. Huh? Oh, yeah. I want to know, are you interested in an extra five to ten customers per week for your plumbing business? Oh, no. No, 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 no. Let me ask you, what are you doing besides Craigslist to get customers... <laughs> He hung up the phone. Okay, that's a no. Hey, what he said? What? No, 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 no. <laughs> okay. <sighs> Hold on one second. My phone has froze. And you see, that's just the worst that could happen. He just said no. He hung up. I'm unfazed. To be honest with you, everything that happened in 2020, I can't see how people can still be um, emotionally hurt from someone saying no. At this point, you should be used to prepare for the worst or prepare for the unexpected. You know, so at this point, it's just, that's it all. 7.3 billion people on the planet. Why be upset over one? At least that's the way how I like to think about it when I make cold calls. All right, so I'm going to call this TV Mountain Company. But you see how I was strong and um, my delivery. That's also something that I want you guys to take away from this. I want you to be very strong in what you have to offer. So let me try and add some more enthusiasm when I make this phone call. Two, nine, six, five. So watch how I elevate my energy. Hello, yes. Is this the correct number for TV mounting? Yeah, in Charlotte, North Carolina. I actually have a 70 inch, but I came across your ad on Craigslist. I had a real quick question for you. I wanted to know, are you interested in generating an extra 5 to 10 customers per week for your business? I appreciate it, but I'm good. Thanks, though. Let me ask, what are you doing besides Craigslist to get customers? <laughs> he got off that phone, so that's two no's. It's okay. It's okay. So, um, two no's. Ooh, a mobile DJ. This seems like someone I'd like to do business with. Okay. So I want to get his phone to ring. Once again, you see they just hung up the phone. I still hit him with my rebuttal. I'm always going to hit him with a rebuttal. Until they get off that phone, I'm not getting off the phone. That's just my mindset now. On to the next. All right, five rings and I hang up. So, so far we got two, two no's, one DNP. DNP stands for did not pick up. So let's, let's continue. Oh, also just to mention, I have an appointment later. 
Um, I actually booked a client in Charlotte, North Carolina yesterday. I got an appointment with him at 3. So I may record that video and show you how I go about asking for the money. I know a lot of you have been requesting. Uh, I see you cold calling, but how do I go about asking for the money? Um, I actually have a video that I'll link towards the end of this video in case you want to see that. But, um, yeah, I'm going to upload that later. So even if I own any clients, I still got an appointment set for later. So it's all good. <laughs> it's all good. Um, okay. McSwain. <laughs> I like that name. McSwain. Should I say it like that when I pick for McSwain? <laughs> so that'll be this will be call number three. See if McSwain wanna do some business. Hello, is this the correct number for McSwain Garage Doors? Yes, it is. Yes, my name is Bernard. I came across your ad on Craigslist. I had a real quick question for you. Yes, sir. I wanted to know, are you interested in an extra 5 to 10 customers for your garage door repair business? Where? From Facebook. So let me give you a brief introduction of what I do. I know you're busy. I don't want to take up too much of your time. I'm a Facebook ad expert. I've been running Facebook ads for 10 years and all of the clients that I have, I take their pictures and videos and run across Facebook for them. And I put you in front of qualified prospects who have an income minimum of $50,000 a year, upwards of $250,000 a year who can afford your services. Would you be interested in that? <laughs> he hung up the phone. Um, so that's a no. So what was that? Three? Three knows. Um, I think what I'm doing when I tell them that, right, is that instead of just being short and brief, I mean, I like to talk a lot. So, you know, I like to be as detailed oriented as possible, but maybe I should try to slow that down slightly. All right. Like work my way into it. So when he asked me, how do I get customers? I should have said Facebook. I can tell you more. You know, let me tell you more, and then I'll wait for the confirmation of yes. Because when we cold call, we try to get these clients in the yes, yes, yes behavior. Or, mm hmm, okay, mm hmm, mm hmm, right. So that's what something I'm going to work on moving forward. So we got one did not pick up, three no's, right? My goal is to make 10 cold calls. So this will be cold call number five. Five? Yeah, five. Bradley. Bradley. <laughs> okay. Hello, yes, I'm looking for Bradley. Oh, hey, Bradley, how you doing? My name's Bernard. Nice to meet you. Yes, sir. Yes, um, I came across your ad on Craigslist. I had a real quick question for you. All right. I wanted to know, are you interested in obtaining an extra five to ten customers per week for your business? <laughs> That's another angle. What's that? Four? Five? Four. That's four. That's four people who just hung up the phone. And you see this. I want you to look at me. Look at me. Look me in the eye. I'm unfazed. I'm still picking up the phone. I'm still calling people. Because I've proven you in multiple videos that this works. Today is just one of them days where people don't want to talk about business. And I'm fine with that. Because, you know, that helps me get away from the people who are unqualified to work with what I have to offer them. I have no issue with that. Because that, that saves me my time and my investment. And that saved them, you know, them of their business trying to survive. So it's a win-win. That's how I like to look at it. But that is call number five. Um, Leaf.
clean up and remove. I feel like I just called them. Maybe I did. Maybe I didn't. Let me double check in my call log history. One, two, three, four. Other guy didn't answer. So yeah, that's five. This will be six. Yeah, he didn't answer. Yeah, so this will be six. Did I call this person? I did not. Well. Um. See if they want to do some business. Eight, eight. Right, on to the next. That was weird. more ring and I hang up. Simple as that. All right. Honestly, I, I believe that, you know, the fear of cold calling is all in your mind. Or maybe you're just afraid to hear the word no. When I was a child growing up, I heard the word low, no a lot. And it trained me to do one of two things. It trained me to find another way and also trained me that if I want it, I got to go out and get it on my own, which is why I felt that, you know, I'm built for this. I'm built for picking up the phone and cold calling. And you're built for it, too. It's just a mindset or some, I know y'all tend to leave when I cuss, but it's some bullshit story that you're telling yourself about why you can't do it. You can do it. There's nothing stopping you from picking up your phone and calling. It. It's been about 12 minutes now. I know that eventually I'll get in contact with someone go. Yeah, actually I am. I'm looking to see what you can do for me. That's why I keep calling. And because I've done this for 16 days repeatedly now, I've proven to myself that it works. Right? So I want to prove this to you that it works too. Right? So let's keep on calling. Eventually we'll get a yes from somebody. Or at least an email. Um, so, again, in case you're wondering, I'm still calling people from Craigslist. Right? Um, I'm thinking in February... Right, because it almost we're we're almost approaching the thirty day mark. I'm thinking in February I start calling restaurants. Right, I think that'd be interesting for y'all to see, or for you to see specifically. Right, Tim, Timmy, Tim, Tim. <laughs> Let's see what Tim's talking about. Nine six three. See if Tim want to do some business. Opportunity is endless. There's abundance upon, upon all of us. Just want you to know that. Hey, Tim, how you doing? My name's Bernard. How are you? Good, how are you? I'm good, Tim. Life is great. So I came across your ad on Craigslist. I had a real quick question for you. Mm -hmm. Yes, I want to know, are you interested in extra five to ten jobs per week for your business? Awesome, Tim. That's what I like to hear. So tell me, what are you doing besides Craigslist now to acquire customers? Uh, all types of things. Doing all types of things. What can you do for me? Awesome. I'm glad you asked that, Tim. I am a Facebook ad expert. I have 10 years of experience. What I'm able to do is take your pictures that you have here on your Craigslist ad, which are very high quality, by the way, um, and place them in the Charlotte, North Carolina area, and I can get you customers... Like I said, five to ten per week, um, depending on your schedule for your business. But here's the thing, Tim. How much? how much? Well, here's how it works, Tim. Let me ask you this. How much are you charging by the hour for your services? Charging for the hour for what? For your services. Or do you just do it by the job? Are you hourly or are you just charged by the job? Uh, no, nah, I charge by the job. Nice, nice. So give or take, you're making what, like uh, at least 200 and up? Uh, yeah. Nice, nice. So here's what I would do, Tim. Like I like to offer most of my clients, I like to get my cut of the percentage of at least 10 to ten to 20 percent, right? So you can just book that anywhere between 25 through $50 per customer that I generate you. But all the income that you make for the job, you keep that. 
And the only other investment that you would have to invest would just be the money for me to advertise on Facebook, right? Other than that, you just keep all the profit. Nice. So this is how it would work, right? So as me running the Facebook ad, let me give an example because I actually have a client who offers what you do, right? And I could, let's say I get you a client, he's 30 years old, he lives in Charlotte, he makes about $100,000 a year, right? I can see that on Facebook and I can tell you the cost per acquisition. So let's say it costs about $30 to get you a client, right? And you charge at least $200 a job. I'll text you that day and go, 